Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. This video might be a little bit short, but that's okay. We have five 20 gauge loads here. We're gonna pattern three of mine. They're a buckshot and Josh has a couple of his. What are they? Uh, this one here is 23 grains of HS6 with, what's that wad? The BP, BP 2092. 2092 wad with probably, I don't know, that much fiber cushion, maybe a quarter inch fiber cushion in the bottom of it. Then an ounce and eighth, seven and a half, just because that's what I had readily available. Yep. Let's see how this one patterns. And this one is a remake of my duplex load, only in 20 gauge. So it's got essentially a gas seal, fiber cushion, number four shot, fiber cushion, seven and a half, and then fiber cushion over the top to be, it's an ounce and an eighth. So it's got 246 grains of fours, 246 grains of seven and a half which equals out to 493 which an ounce and an eighth is like 492.5 so yeah close enough but we'll see how it does here in a minute we're gonna run his buckshot first we're using his old noble here 602j i believe is the model in it yep all righty this gun has a 570 choke in it if i remember right yep fixed choke but all right, we have my handy dandy digital calipers here. Really cheap set off eBay. But we have a 5.8, measure it again, different angle. 5.8 again. Looks like it's a 58 choke. We got 5.7 the other day though. 5.8. There's one angle that shows 5.7, but it looks like it's a 5.75 maybe. That's all right though. We'll see how it does here. All right, guys, we have a, uh, what is this haul? An Agula, which is, I guess, federal, two and three quarter inch haul, 26 grains of long, no, 20 grains of long shot, low profile gas seal, half inch fiber cushion wad, 10 pellets of 30 cal number one, and original buffer. It's a one ounce load. All looks fine. No pressure signs at all. All right, guys, I got a pretty decent pattern. It's a little bit wide, but some people like wider patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got uh, eight, nine, ten right here. Comes over here, this three off paper. Not that bad. Yeah. All right, guys, we've got here a once fired Fiocchi. No, wait, this is a new prime Fiocchi haul. It is loaded with 17 grains of long shot BP 2092 wad with an eighth inch of fiber cushion. Uh, 32 cal, no, 32 gauge nitro car with a mylar wrap. 16 pellets of 27 cal number two buck with ITX buffer. Roll crimp with a nitro card for an overshot. Let's see what it does. Should be total payload of like an ounce and an eighth, I think. Yeah. It goes. Should mention this gun does not like three inch hauls. No, as you can see. Yep, we got a brass bubble if it would focus. It's got two brass bubbles. Yep, that happens almost all the time with three inch loads, even a mild one like this. Usually try not to run. It says on the barrel chambered for three inch, but yep. we'll see right here. Proof tested 20 gauge, three inch chamber. We figured that one only being 17 grains of long shot being pretty mild, we might be able to work around it, but no. But it does seem to really like two and three quarter inch loads, so yeah. at the end of the day, that's, that's all it's really good for anyways. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I wanna start off by saying like the marks you see on the hulls, that, that's that gun, that's not pressure signs. I've got another 20 gauge, we'll, we'll get it out and run it with another one, I'll show you. There's no pressure signs on that load, it's literally the gun. Yeah. It's chambered for three inch, but it's like the chamber's just a little too short. But anyways, to talk about patterns here, that's the best pattern I've ever seen thrown out of that gun. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many is supposed to be in that? 16, 14 up here. Oh, I think I counted that one. Right here, 15, 16. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> that's awesome. 
that was that's a hog or a deer getting around right there if i've ever seen one for sure give that's, it to a kid first gun first deer there you go that's a ridiculous pattern yes all right guys we're at 30 yards for this one because this is a conventionally loaded no shot cup at all no mylar uh number four book we have a two and three quarter inch nsi haul uh 20 grains of long shot the low profile gas seal half inch fiber cushion wad 20 pellets of number four buck which is a one ounce load and mixed number 47 buffer i keep forgetting this gun you need to pull it back kind of hard or it just drops it right in the back of the uh ejection port but no pressure signs at all everything looks great Oh, well, I guess I'm going to point out, guys, on the receiver of the gun. <laughs> yes, that's mine and my wife's initials and a heart and arrow and all that stuff. I set it up for a two or two. I can't remember what it was now. Some kind of hunting anyways. but Slugs. Yep. That's just cheap, uh, I don't know, it's water-based paint. It comes off real easy, but that thing there, all the finish is gone and it don't accept blue. So that's just an easy way to protect it, to keep it from rusting. This side plate is aluminum. If you flip it over on the other side of it. You can see, like, he'd take his fingernail, it'd come right off of it, but it ain't. It's, it's coming just, off right there. Yeah, it's just cheap insurance to keep the gun from rotting, essentially. Granny. Yeah, it does say Granny. That's the name of this gun. Yep, that is Granny. All right, guys, it looks like we have probably a 20 by 20 pattern. That's really good. I'm not going to bother counting them, but we have from here to right here, right behind the gun, in a perfect circle. And we have really good coverage. That's a pretty good load, guys. We stepped off at 30 yards because that was conventional. All right, guys, this here's, I don't know how good it's going to do or not. The last duplex load, I uh, kind of haphazardly threw together, done really well. So let's see how this one does. This one is 23 grains of HS6 with a uh, gas seal, then uh, maybe a eighth inch fiber cushion, then number four shot fiber cushion, seven and a half shot, then a little bit of fiber cushion over the top for a total payload of ounce and an eighth. All conventional loaded, two and three quarter inch. Let's see how it does though. If this one works out good, I'll do a loading video on it. Yeah. That hole is just a dove and clay hole. It's a same thing as the Super Target or Universal is what it was. Oh, it died. Yeah, it died. There's no pressure signs on it though. No, the primer's still round. Junk hauls. Everybody knows these hauls are junk, even though I like them. Oh, yeah. Let's see how this thing's done. I'm really curious. All right, guys, on my next rendition of this uh, off the wall load, I'm going to be incorporating a Mylar wrap. For sure. But overall, though, that's not bad for 30 yards. No. For being loaded, you know, bigger shot on bottom, smaller shot on top, that's backwards. Fiber cushion wad, and that's it as far as components other than a gas seal. That's, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try to do this in 16 gauge. For sure. That'd be awesome. See what gauge does the best. All right, guys. This one is, once again, 23 grains of HS6. BP 2092 wad with a eighth inch fiber cushion, an ounce and an eighth of seven and a half shot. That's pretty much it. Let's see how it does, Rick. Maybe 30, 35 yards. I didn't patch the holes from the last bird shot, so I'm gonna try to hold bottom right hand corner, I guess, somewhere in that quadrant anyways. If I do this right, it should work out great. <laughs> Hall looks great. Oh, that was a Shadot primer, by the way, in a once-fired federal hole. Right. It's still around, no pressure signs. Let's walk down here and see how it done. We're putting ounce and an eighth, an ounce and a quarter in two and three-quarter inch holes. That's the secret. All right, guys, I'm going to hold my arm like this. Just, you know, that's, that's pretty much the dividing line, other than like these one or ten number fours right here. But from there down, that's the pattern. I know we've read it in the comments. We're kind of bad at this uh showing bird shot pattern things but that's all right i think it's a pretty good pattern yep 
sorry about the shorter video on this one guys right before i left the house to go to josh's to film uh he called me and hey he was like hey you uh want to film a 20 gauge video and got any loads loaded up and i only had two or three he had a handful and uh we just used what we had but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway i know uh that number two buck load uh that really impressed us that was a very very tight load it seems a mylar wrap inside the shot cup really changes the game. Um, that's a trick from uh, Roger Adkins I picked up not too long ago. I saw him do it with number four buck and figured why not try it out, uh, try it out in a few loads. I've done it here and there before, but um, really uh, starting to do it a lot lately and um, it's working. Very tight patterns. But anyway, if you guys got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. We will get back to you. But uh, other than that, we have a Patreon, Rumble, and Instagram account. All of that will be in the description below. You guys go check that out. And um, other than that, we'll see you in the next one.